let's talk about the this is let's talk about some profit producing activities applying this Pareto's law. Pareto's law is basically saying that 80 percent of the uh, result you get come from 20 percent of the activity. And that's just applied just about everything. Look at your closet right now. About 20 percent of the items in there you wear the other 80 percent you could really just take back to the store and take to the yard sale you're always going to wear it eventually right but you never get around to it you bought that white outfit for that all white party the party got canceled and the white suit has been sitting in the closet for the last 15 years it's got bell bottoms and <laughs> pleats like a steve harvey zoot suit for that 80 percent you need to get rid of them. your toilet is in your bathroom same thing. Use about 20%. Eight, other 80% just taking up space, cluttering up space. So what if you could identify the 20% and focus on it and replace that 80% with productive items such as the 20%? You would see your productivity skyrocket by a factor of 16, account, according to this Pareto guy. We call that the 16x factor. What if you did the same thing for your company, for your company, for your marketing efforts? You cut out some of the fat. I'm gonna give you some things today. What I call high producing marketing activities as we apply this 80-20 rule to our marketing and business development efforts. Some of you are probably already doing it. That's okay. Hear it again. <laughs> it's like going to church. Yeah, we know there's you not shouldn't kill people, shouldn't steal, Ten Commandments, shouldn't covet. But you gotta hear it every now and then. Number one, on the high profit producing activities, improve your current service. Identify additional problems that your service solves improve your current service some of y'all haven't changed anything and since you've been in business and you wonder why things aren't moving it's like a bicycle you don't move forward you fall over that's number one second thing develop or create a new product or service now sometimes i mean this might sound difficult at face value but sometimes you can repurpose a service you already have Give it a new size, a new color, add a new feature. So you don't have to go out and really like create you like a micro, macro, use a macro approach. And use take something that you're already doing and tweak it into a new product or service. Look at these big companies. Man, they live by something new. Every time you turn around, McDonald's is introducing a new sandwich. And then you know. Once they once that McRib <laughs> gets old, they take it off the shelf and they'll bring it back up three or four years later. And it's new all over again to a new audience. So sometimes you can create something new just for a season or reason. Pull it back and reintroduce it to a new audience. So develop something new. Now I want you to develop, once you create that new product, market it to the best audience now sometimes we go out and create new items new products and new services but we try to sell it to everybody you've got to sell it to the right audience the best target audience i'm telling you some things folks it's going to change your business tomorrow if you do it now i'm going to I talk about this all the time i'm going to say it again today develop new partnerships affiliations expand your network Partnerships, create affiliate programs if you must. I was talking to a young man yesterday, and he is just gung ho on this. I gave him a couple of tips, and he went crazy with it. That's all he wants to do now. <laughs> like, hey, Gatewood, we can stop all this other stuff because this is working like magic. So, right, right now, what we're doing with him, we're building these networks and affiliates, and these affiliates go out here and sell your products and services for you. Anyway, that's another way. Create these joint ventures and partnerships and affiliations and have others bring others into the fold to help you 
reach that mark. Here's one that's important. Create degrees of separation, something that would make your service or product unique. Now, this is one of those times you go into the room, turn the lights down, light your candles, or get you something to drink, pray, chant, or whatever you do. And just think, and I do this, what can I do to make my service different than the other ones? See, I didn't have to work. I didn't have to think on this one long because I understand the power of service. And I understood the value of lifetime value. So what I did to make my service unique, <laughs> I just give the best service. There's nobody give better service than my company. I'm just, I can say that unequivocally. I don't have to worry about being contradicted. Anybody who's done business with me knows that. Man, they be calling me. I mean, I was taking calls this morning at two o'clock. <laughs> I'm not proud of that, but that is my differenti differentiator. That's one of my degrees of separation. This is no joke. Even though we have a, a 24 hour hotline, if you have a problem with your website, I mean, your domain name, your hosting account, your SSL certificate, your email, we have a 24 seven number. And I've told people that a hundred times, but they, they just love calling me because I was the one, you know, when I was small, of course, I was the one they dealt with. But now we have a 24 hour hotline to take care of that stuff. But I'm not going to say, look, hey, I'm bigger than this now. You're talking to the owner. Hear myself a bit. I mean, I could show you the text. <laughs> At one, it was two o'clock this morning before I finally said, look, I'm going to type up your, again, your instructions on how you should do this when you can't reach me. So I actually typed up an email this morning at two o'clock. Here's the phone number. Here's your login, your password, your four digit pin, the email address on file, the credit card you have on file for your recurring bills. And here's that number you can call if this happens in the future. I said, put it in a safe place. I wanted to say it because I'm not going to make you call next time. <laughs> but I didn't do that. I went ahead and uh, you know, I used to do what I have to do. But anyway, that's one of my di differentiators. You have to find yourself a degree of separation that makes your business unique. Now, do this. I'm telling you that these are things that's going to make your business. I'm, this that 80 20 rule. Some of these other crap you can just scratch out the way. Do some of this stuff. I acquire proof to use your marketing, such as testimonials or research. Man, people have so many choices now. I hate to bust people's bubbles when they come to my office and say, look, man, I got this great idea. I want to say, look, you and everybody else. <laughs> so you got to find some way to let people know that you're different. You have to create social proof. You have to create... Um, give people a reason to do business with you. And one of the ways to do that, show some type of research, white papers, and a low threshold approach to do that is through testimonials. If you go to my website, gatewoodmarketing.com, heck, the whole second half of the website is just testimonials. I mean, I got people flying across the screen, Joe Madison and Willie Jolly and this person and that person. And because this, this stuff works. You got to give people proof that your service works. You have you are risk averse. You are low risk for doing business with them. Okay. And you can add to that by creating some type of guarantee. Now, when you say guarantee, that doesn't mean if it doesn't work or it doesn't go to your liking, I'm gonna give you a free one. <laughs> but you might say, look, I guarantee if you don't like it, I'm gonna give you a 10% off the next one. I mean, I, I like this promotion that um I think Domino's must have created my list here today. They came with that free, what you, free delivery. You become your own delivery person. Come pick up your own pizza, and they give you three dollars. They call it like a delivery tip or something. That's that thinking new. That's that. I like that kind of thing. You can do that too. You don't have to be a big company like Domino's to do it. Um, find a way to reward your prospects for taking action. Now, what's popular right now in the digital space is uh, gated content. Uh, look, you say, look, give me your email address or buy something. I'll give you a free download or free video. Or, but make it reward people for taking that extra step. And you have some things right now that you can give away or share. 
to reward people for taking actions. Locate a marketing channel that gives you access to additional prospects. Right now, you're not reaching everybody that you can reach. <laughs> I can guarantee you. Which means you may have to join a networking group. You may have to advertise on a show like this if you're not advertising already. You may have to call the radio station, Radio One or someplace. But you have to go somewhere. You have to fish in a different pond. Okay. And to tie in with the um, rewarding, create a free different, create a free piece of literature that you can give to people. That's right. The ten ways to if you're a, if you're a travel agent, the ten hot spots, or ten things you do before you board the plane. If you're an attorney, uh, why you should trademark your company or your name or if you're uh whatever you are your marketing company like this uh give out people 10 uh profit producing activities <laughs> as you have just heard my bottom line is give out free information to generate leads and um you can put it on a postcard you can put it on a like i said behind gated content you can put it as a download on your website you can put part of a blog but Content is king right now. And so if you're looking for something free that you can give away, sometimes people give away things like mugs and cups. Uh, you may give away a pen. I give away a lot of cups over here. <laughs> I give away pens with my neck with my logo on it. Um, well, sometimes you, you do these things, but content is one thing you can do. But you can do other things to uh, generate leads for your business. All right, folks, that's going to wrap it up for today.